Okay, here's a. I would like to say quick video, but it's not that quick. Um, way that w uh, you can use or transfer a rig from a larger model with different proportions over to a smaller model with uh, alternative proportions. Um, so allowing yourself to share the same rig and animations between two different models, but they've got different scale and different proportions. So here we go. Uh, let's just pull in the original model. So I'll pull that off screen. Alright. So this is the original model, it's a Mustang horse and its proportions and scale is different from the horse we are about to bring in. So I'm gonna bring in the second horse now. Just give me a moment. Alright. Is that that import? There we go. So you can see the second horse is smaller and uh, we'll soon see their difference in proportions. So when you want to scale down uh, skeleton, um, the this geometry is going to follow the skeleton because it's already been bound to that skeleton. And it's very important to have a locator um, above your skeleton because you can scale this down and it doesn't affect your skeleton's um, scale sort of what can I say values alright um, so if you don't have a um, coordinate um, a locator you just add one this this rig already has a locator on the top which makes my life easier so I'm just going to scale it down to roughly where I think it would be uh, an okay size to say okay w we can do that and then the rest we just have to do ourselves okay so I, I would say that's roughly a, a good size so what we want to do now is bring the new model geometry back to line up because now we've lined it up size wise roughly we now we must line it up position it w w um, so they share the same position roughly because they're not the same model so I would say that's roughly the same position. Okay. All right. Now it's important to uh, freeze the transforms on this new model uh, because we've moved it. So it's just a good practice just to go freeze those. So it zeroes them all out. And um, the next step is we want to create a new bind pose for the skeleton because the current bind pose if I have to go and click on the existing model and go skin go to bind pose it's going to scale it back up to its original bind pose and we don't want that so we go on display uh, DAG options only and we just search for bind pose there's the original bind pose let's delete that okay clear the filter put DAG object objects only back on now how we can recreate that uh, bind pose and make a new one is just um, shift click on that plus button to expand the entire skeleton highlight the whole skeleton and then go to the Shetland uh, pony and we're going to say skin bind skin let's give it a moment alright so now it's created a new bind pose and that bind pose is, is set to this new scale so that's that's really really important so we've, we've gotten to this point this is a uh, a very important, um, how can I say, um, platform, foundation for all us to work from. Okay, I'm going to um, unbind the, the Shetland pony, but it, let's just go here quickly, just because I don't want its geom I don't want the Shetland, Shetland pony's geometry to move when we move the bones now. So I'm just going to say, so to see there's the, the bind pose, I'm just going to go skin unbind skin okay so the skin is no longer bound to this to that uh, skeleton but it's still got the bind pose the reason why I don't want it bound is because we're going to be moving the bones around and I don't want to see the geometry move with it okay so we can clear that search put DAG objects only back on what I'm going to do is hide the original Mustang uh, model so now we've just left with the skeleton and the new model. 
So it's a good a good time just to to save uh, your scene. So um, just going to save it, okay. and uh, so that that would be we we've, we've scaled down um, the the skeleton, and we've done the model position, and we've done the um, new bind pose. Okay, I just put that um, at the end of my file name just so I've got a very clear history of what I've just done in that file. So what we want to do now is, as you can see, the bones aren't in the right position. But if I have to move them, they're just going to jump back into their keyframes positions. So what we can use is under modeling standard, you can use this um, offset parent matrix to move that forward without adjusting the keyframe. So what we can do is uh, I've got light shot installed on my machine so I'm just going to press print screen and take a screenshot of this um, coordinates, the original coordinates. I'm just going to click save and uh, that is leg 4 L. Okay, So I'm just going to change my so there, I'm going to save it there. So that's the that's the coordinates for that. So now, what I can do is I can just pull that up. Um, I've got a second screen here. So there we go. There's the the coordinates that match that, and I want to use that as reference to come back to. All right. So what I'm going to do now is just move that where I want it to be. So essentially, I'm affecting those coordinates. I'm just going to put them back to where they were uh, in a moment after I've calculated the difference. All right, so that's neatly placed within that leg, okay, right above the hoof. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So you can see that we've changed those two. So I'm going to bring back my. Um, screenshot and uh, my calculator. So if I have to take that um, amount there and just calculate the difference, so let's just ignore the minus. So if I take 0 0.215 and I subtract the original value 0 0.153, the difference is 0 0.062. If I put that in there, I'm calculating the difference, and that's the offset that we want. So 0 0.062. I'm going to do the same thing now for that top value. So the top value was, bring my calculator back. Top value was 0 0.489. And the new value is over there. So I must actually work the other way around. 0 0.625 minus 0 0.489. And the offset is 0 0.136. 0.136, we'll just punch that in here, 0.136. Okay, so it looks pretty bizarre because now we've moved it into the new position and we put the offset, but what we're going to just do now is put the original coordinates from our screenshot back in there. Okay, so the top one, we're just going to put in negative 0.153, and the second one is 0 0.489. Uh, Actually, I got that wrong. I did get that wrong. So let's remove that offset. The original hmm. There we go. I actually let me just double check that. So what I want to do is take maybe I didn't get it wrong. Zero point six two five minus zero point four eight nine. Yeah, that is the offset. Okay, so we just put that in there. Uh, 0.489, and it should line up. Just one moment. Okay, so I just actually need to put a zero in here. That fixes it. I mean, uh, 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 minus. I just forgot to put the minus in there. All right, so as you can see, um, we've got our original coordinates back in there, okay, from our screenshot. 
but instead of the year this being zero, we've got our offset. And the great thing is this will allow you to keep your, your keyframe animation. So it'll animate with with the the keyframes, but just put this offset on top of that onto your bone. And that way you can um, just reposition the bones to fit within the new model's proportions um, while keeping the original keyframes. Then right at the end you are going to need to select your entire mesh and um, select your entire skeleton, select your entire mesh and you're going to want to, um, and a rigging uh, workspace, you're going to want to bind that once only after you've done all your repositioning you bind that and then because the original uh, mustang had some weight painting which means it's just been improved the the, the 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 weights have been adjusted and tweaked you can actually select the original select your shetland pony and under skin just say copy skin weights and um, here's the settings that i use and that way you can transfer the skin weights across to your new model as well and that that would be your final step um, all right so and when you export then you just select your uh, skeleton you select your mesh and you go file export selected okay and uh, just make sure bake animation is on under your, under your export options and that's how you can um, utilize an existing rig uh, and existing animations for uh, a model that's a different scale and different proportions than your current one but obviously for that to work you generally need to be um, still within the same type of um, object so we're going from one horse to another but just a total different scale different proportions but um, we're still within the, the you know the, the same animal type being horse if you had to try to put car rig and animations on a horse you could, but it's not going to look good. All right. I hope that helps. Take care.